your stomach. And here's the small intestine, and there's your large intestine. And there's nine stomach busters, we call them. And they are coffee, regular tea, alcohol, sugar, chocolate, um, salt, preservatives, artificial sweeteners, and tobacco. And so those are the nine busters. And to add to that, we've got prescription drugs, and things like aspirin, and also stress. So those are the things that are the hardest on your stomach. And we know that, you know, too much coffee, yeah, your stomach's not going to feel well. Too much alcohol, your stomach's not going to feel well. Too much of any one of those things will make your stomach feel uncomfortable because it shocks it. And that's where your food allergies come from. And a food allergy specialist will tell you that it's always the protein in the food that your body reacts to. And why is your body reacting to a protein? Because you don't have the digestive enzyme to break it down. And so this is where this part starts. And the accumulation of proteins and fats and debris in the intestine starts to rot and ferment. Just like, you know, you have chicken dinner and you scrape the scraps into the garbage can. What does it smell like by the next day or two days later? And so you've got food that's been sitting in your colon for, in some cases, years. It doesn't just totally empty out every day. It's just, does that, that work? And, you know, when people have little polyps and little bumps and stuff that, you know, pockets where it mass just sits there. So you, it needs to be clean. So, so now we've got the fermentation. We're absorbing up these chemicals. And the liver is an amazing machine because it's meant to take this this chemicals from this from this rot and also the chemicals that it, it, it picks up from our diet and from chemicals that are absorbed through the skin and it takes all that stuff and neutralizes it and turns it into bile and bile helps um, emulsify fat and it helps speed up transit time it helps break down the rest of your foods through here but what happens is that when the liver gets overloaded with too much toxicity that it starts setting the bile down where it's still alive. It's hot, and hot bile then irritates the walls of your intestines. And so when the walls of the intestines are irritated, they produce mucus to push, to push away whatever is bothering them. And when you have mucus in your intestines, it gets slippery, and that's where diarrhea comes from. And so there'll be times where all of a sudden you find yourself with diarrhea, and it's like, ooh, I don't have the flu, but I've got diarrhea you know that your liver is upset about something. And as this progresses, it gets to the point where there's so much bile and it's so hot that it actually starts damaging the lining of your intestines. And this is where Crohn's and colitis and ileitis and spastic bowel and duodenum ulcers, and that's where these conditions come from. So now you're starting to circulate your own toxicity, and it's becoming a bigger problem. Now, the bile is stored in your gallbladder here, and with this toxic bile sitting in your gallbladder, it starts giving it a lot of problems. And a lot of people, especially women, will wind up taking their, getting their gallbladders taken out. And it's because of this poor digestion, toxic bile situation. Your pancreas is over here, and it's producing thousands of enzymes to help you break down your dead food in your diet, which is your basically food with no enzymes in it. It's all your meat and your dairy-type products, well-cooked products. Every time you eat that and your junk food, uh, coffee, anything like that, your pancreas is working flat out trying to help your body digest it. And so then it's working flat out and it, it just degenerates. It just it suffers from atrophy after a while.